Humberto Delgado was born on the 15th of May, 1906, in Boquilobo, Torres Novas, in the district of Santaray. From 1916, he attended military school. And in 1925, he graduated from the artillery course at the age of 19. In 1926, Lieutenant Humberto Delgado began his military pilot's course at the Military School of Aviation in Sintra. In May 1926, he took part in the military coup that overthrew the Parliamentary Republic and implanted a military dictatorship. In 1928, Humberto Delgado concluded his military pilot's course. In 1936, Captain Humberto Delgado completed the staff course and in 1940, he became the first director of the aeronautics course of the Army School. Between 1941 and 1943, Major Humberto Delgado represented Portugal in the negotiations leading to secret agreements for the installation of Allied bases in the Azores during the Second World War. In September 1944, Lieutenant Colonel Humberto Delgado was appointed director of the newly created Civil Aviation Secretariat. Under his guidance, Portuguese airports were modernized and expanded. Post-war freedom of the air agreements were concluded and signed. On the 13th of March, 1945, Humberto Delgado founded Transportes Aéreos Portugueses, the forebearer of TAP Portugal. He was responsible for Portugal being entrusted with air traffic control over the North Atlantic region. And for the Azores, Santa Maria Airport in particular, becoming part of the main world air routes. On the 31st of December, 1946, he established the first commercial flights between Lisbon, Luanda and Lorenzo Marques, Maputo. From 1947 to 1950, Humberto Delgado represented Portugal in the International Civil Aviation Organization. In 1952, he was appointed to the rank of general, so becoming the youngest general in the Portuguese military. Between 1952 and 1957, he led the Portuguese military mission in Washington, representing Portugal in NATO. Upon his return to Portugal, he was appointed Civil Aviation Director General. He ordered the modernization of Portuguese airports so as to adapt them to the operational needs of jet aircraft. In 1958, he ran for president of the Portuguese Republic against the Salazar regime. When asked what his position would be regarding Salazar if he were to win the election, his answer was, obviously, I'll dismiss him. From the north to the south of the country, the charismatic general galvanized crowds, unleashing a momentous wave of popular hope and enthusiasm. For the first time ever, a presidential candidate united all opposition forces on election day. The regime, calling on police and military forces, intensified the repression of Humberto Delgado's supporters. His unequivocal courage earned him the epithet, the fearless general. The day the election took place, the regime forbade the presence of opposition members at vote counting stations. Widespread fraud led to the victory of the regime's candidate. A victim of retaliation by the Salazar regime and threats by PID, the political police, in 1959, Humberto Delgado left for exile in Brazil. In 1962, he returned to Portugal, undercover, to lead the ill-fated Beja coup. On the 13th of February, 1965, Humberto Delgado and Arajaria Campos travelled to Barajos to take part in a secret meeting with dissident military officers willing to set up an armed revolt against the regime. In reality, the meeting was a trap set by PID. Humberto Delgado and Arajaria Campos were executed in a deserted field near Olivenza. The bodies were hidden 30 kilometers to the south, near Villa Nueva del Fresno.